Hi. Um, it appears I've got something else to say. Um, tell that guy on the internet about who talks about narcissists. Um, <laughs> does he know where I can get a lovely mirror so I can um, preen in, in a glass pond and go, Oh my God, I must be a narcissist because I, um, <laughs> I, I try to think of jokes or something. All right, but I don't mean to stir a fucking ripple. You haven't finished doing your hairdo and your... <laughs> And, and the blush on your cheeks, or nor have you come back from the gym to be, do your best fucking Bacchus or Dionysus, Dionysus fucking um, impression. Go, oh, yes, I feel like um, like a Greek god. Well, that's great. I feel like a Greek goddess. <laughs> ETC, WTC kind of thing. You know? So the, the reality is at the moment I feel rather crook or sick, ill, ill to the bones. Oh, I'm hoping it's not fucking leukemia, obviously. <laughs> I don't think it is. I think it's more likely to like bowel cancer or lung cancer. It's kind of like um, it hasn't made up its mind where it's going to go next. Going, um, so we started off in your bowel. That's what you get for not having a shit for about 25 years um, on the heroin. I go, oh, well, well, I'm glad I wasn't in any pain uh, during that time. And I mean, <laughs> if only I could get those, uh, those um, what do they call it? Um, all right, we'll call it this for now. Uh, on a scale of uh, 0 to 10, how much pain do you think you're in? Like, seriously, isn't that the most stupid question they can ask you at a hospital when you're trying to get pain relief? Um, <laughs> so I fractured an arm a long time ago, and I was at the hospital, uh, the local hospital in this capital city, um, <laughs> in, in the state to the left of uh, South Australia, and, uh, and they gave me a fucking Panadol for a fucking fracture. <laughs> The reason why they gave me that was probably because I was already um, at the time on the methadone register or something. Hmm, you know what? Even if you're in pain in hospital, we don't know if we can um, <laughs> make you not want to escape the hospital and get some smack or something. Like, well, well, harm minimization. Oh, man, I'm so in so much fucking pain for this broken arm or fractured arm, you know. Oh, sorry, we can only give you a Panadol. I'm seriously done. Can you put the sling on properly? Oh, I've got to call my drug dealer. Lucky, uh, lucky I've still got $100 in my account, you know. Anyway... No, no, that's beside the point. The real point is, um, I like to listen to hip hop in the night, and um, I um, what was I listening to before? It was Method Man. That's right, Method Man. And um, I really, he really motivates me. Like all good hip hop, I've, it makes me want to do shit. Like I'm um, not necessarily like write rhymes or, um, <laughs> you know, do hip hop necessarily, but I do like um things around it, like um, uh, fashion design, um, fabric wallpapers, uh, jokes, all these kind of things. I don't really do any of this um full time. I just fuck and fuck around in my mind because um. Remember this, your life is only as good as the thoughts that occupy your mind. And, um, well, like I told you five minutes ago, <laughs> is that five minutes? Sorry, Bill, I've got two minutes left. Uh, uh, I don't really give a fuck. Um, if I fuck, oh, no, yeah, you're dying of cancer now, mate. Um, oh, shit, doctor, is there anything you can do for me? I mean, what do you want? What, do you want me to just suck your dick or something? Yes, darling, um, how long have you been studying to be a doctor? Well, you know, my husband died when I was uh, 30, and um, I suppose I could... Um, don't get much time for sucking dick anymore, uh, the, <laughs> but uh, meet me later. Um, I don't mind sucking off a um, darling one. In my case, I'll just have to give it a bit of a lick, um, maybe um, blow on my nipples. <laughs> okay. Right, I, I did what I could. It wasn't so abusive. I'll just lie there going, thank you, doctors. Um, I appreciate that you need to feel safe in your environment. So I'm going, where's my fucking painkillers, you fucking cunt? I'm sorry, I won't be spoken to in this language. I feel threatened. Oh, guess what, bitch? Um, <coughs> uh, you ruined my goddamn life, but you didn't really. It wasn't you. It was the idiocy and the fucking um and the ignorance with the American exported drug policy, which just fucked up a whole generation. I don't give a fuck. Oh, like I said, uh, on my last imaginary podcast, 